ADHD. And a lot of people ask me, like, what is that like? That, what, are you just hyper all the time? I'm like, well, yes, but more than that. Um, it's kind of like having a coke habit, but you don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and when, the worst part is, you have to remember to take drugs that get, help you to remember to do things. <laughs> One of my Alzheimer's patients, I know you feel me. <laughs> Sadly, they didn't find their way here tonight, so. <laughs> this is the part where I go, it's cool, my grandma died of Alzheimer's. <laughs> So I disappointed my family at a charity event. Um, anybody do the real life for life ever? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> charity claps don't donate to cancer. <laughs> yeah, I did it three years in a row and um, it's an all night deal. And uh, I snuck away, I thought, for a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I got caught by my mother from my team. And she didn't know I smoked. I was 27, thank you. <laughs> I have not gone back. I just don't eat. So, um, yes, I am enjoying this warm weather and I got myself one of these stupid maxi dresses because obviously that's a good idea on an escalator. I was at the mall. <laughs> I survived, that's all that matters. <laughs> I was at the mall and uh, I was feeling pretty good, you know, in this dress contraption. And I'm walking and uh, this young kid is like, Hey, I really like your dress. I'm like, Thanks. and she's like, where'd you get it? And I'm like, can you believe it, Walmart? And she goes, oh. <laughs> Turns out she works for Save the Children, and that was her segue to sell it to me. And there was, she was pointing to a pile of pictures of children that I could sponsor. You just sponsor one woman. I could. I could travel to visit them, isn't that great? Well, I'm fucking unemployed, and uh, this dress is $18, and that made me feel like a millionaire, so that's where I'm at. She's like, oh, but it's only, you know, coffee cup, whatever. So I said, hang on a second, I'm gonna think about it. So I went to the Sears portrait studio, got a goddamn picture printed off, of myself printed off, brought it over, put it on the top, and say, see what you can fucking do. <laughs> Those kids are getting more money than I am. Step on it. The kids who made my fucking clothes make more than I do. <laughs> I'm just speaking the truth. So traffic sucks. Yeah, fucking does. Right. I was behind a Lamborghini on Ken Mount, and I've never seen one before in person. I didn't really care, but I was like, oh, Lamborghini. But then the light turned green, and they didn't move. Because, fun fact about people who can afford luxury cars and convertibles, they have one foot in the grave, and they don't have the fucking time to drive 20 kilometers an hour down Ken Mount. <laughs> I just wanted to get that off my chest. It's not fair, and it's not right. And I think it's because they can afford to insure themselves too, because they all know it's no risk. We can crawl faster than that. <laughs> Deep down inside, I am a cranky old man. Get off my lawn. <laughs> I've been living at my in-laws for the past year. I've spent the last week moving like it's a friggin' military operation. <laughs> by myself, up two flights of stairs, from Kenmount Terrace downtown and back again, and I don't even give a shit. 
<laughs> I wore heels tonight. Because I don't stop for anybody. I'm getting out of that house and I'm not going to show any of my clothes. <laughs> it is very weird living with somebody's parents, especially when you've been married for five years, you're in your 30s, and you're trying to sell a house. Thankfully, we sold the goddamn house. <laughs> we moved out of it prematurely because, unfortunately, we had to put down our dog last August. Yeah. Poor Chunky. He was an asshole. <laughs> he really was. He was a fucking asshole. And that's why I liked him. He was like a person that you hate, that lives at your house, that you cannot get rid of. We called him our roommate. <laughs> That's what he was. And it led me to a realization that while I am sad that he is gone, um, he is not like my child because I'm sure it's not okay to say, isn't it nice that we don't have to get off the couch every five minutes? <laughs> oh my god, we're not tripping over toys. <laughs> you don't say that about your children. I loved my dog, but there are perks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I can get drunk now. <laughs> Old dogs pee a lot. And they go wherever they eat to. <laughs> That's right. So, question. Anybody know anything about birds? What? Birds. <laughs> Any ornithologists? <laughs> Thanks, Treehouse Master, for teaching me that word. If a group of crows agrees to meet and none of them show, is that attempted murder? <laughs> They like to chase me. <laughs> Seagulls, crows, sometimes pigeons. It's not fun. I'm gonna keep this short. I'm just gonna say that one unfortunate day I went to walk downtown, went to visit my friend, got mistaken for a prostitute three times <laughs> when I was on her street. Three times. I do have all my teeth, thanks. And um, then when I crossed the street, there's a sign that says, beware, crow tax. Not a joke. <laughs> Not a joke. I wonder how she's doing. That's it for me. My name is Erica Keen. Thanks, Dad.